16 years ago, SDSU and NDSU both made the move to Division I together, and with it, the Dakota marker rivalry was created, with the Bison owning a 9-6 edge over the Jackrabbits in the series. Saturday, SDSU and NDSU battled in Brookings in a top three matchup. Opening half was a defensive battle, but the big story was SDSU quarterback Jabori Gibbs injuring his right leg on this play. He would leave the game and not return. Jacks did lead 6-3 at the half. Then in the third quarter, the Bison trailing by three, Ty Brooks gets the carry, bursts through the line, and he's gone. 59 yards to the house as that gave the Bison their first lead of the game at 10 to 6. Then on the heels of a strip sack on the Jacks ensuing possession, the Bison add on to their lead as Trey Lance finds Ben Ellison in the end zone for the touchdown. Bison would fail in the two-point try and led by 10. Fourth quarter, SDSU trailing by seven. They're playing their third QB of the game, and true freshman Keaton Hyde, who runs it in from three yards out. PAT good, and we got ourselves a tie ball game at 16 apiece. Under three to go. NDSU going for it on fourth and short in their own territory. And the gamble pays off as Adam Cofield breaks off a 71-yard touchdown. SDSU would turn it over on downs on their next possession, and North Dakota State escapes Brookings with a 23-16 win over South Dakota State. It's a fun rivalry, um, intense rivalry, um, and they came out ahead today with the result of a big play, and we didn't we didn't make a lot of big plays. So hats off to them. The Jackrabbits play next at Missouri State on Saturday. Kickoff set for two o'clock.